Greetings to you in the name of Jesus. Today I am here to tell you to choose God first, and the blessings will follow. Listen to this powerful message in prayer, and believe with all your heart. No matter how you feel, and no matter your circumstances, just believe that God is able. Then Jesus will change your life in a very special and profound way. Your life will never be the same. Leave a like for this video. When you like the video, YouTube will show the video to more people so that you can help me to spread the gospel and change more lives. Now, in life, we are often faced with many of choices. Some are easy, while others may be challenging. Some are insignificant, while others are life-changing. Among these various choices, there exists one that is of paramount importance, one decision that can significantly shape our destiny. The choice of putting God first in our lives. Jesus, in the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 33, lays out a profound promise for each of us, he said. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. This promise from our Savior tells us that when we prioritize God and his kingdom in our lives, all other necessities, all the blessings that we seek after will be added unto us. I would like to illustrate this promise with a simple analogy. Picture a towering, majestic oak tree. Its strength, beauty, and the life it supports are a sight to behold, but this mighty tree doesn't spring up overnight. It begins as a small, almost insignificant seed, buried deep within the soil with the right care. Sunlight, water, nutrients, and most importantly time, it grows. It first peeks out as a tender sprout, eventually reaching towards the sky, growing stronger, taller, and finally, it bears fruit. Our journey of faith with God is similar to this tree's growth. When we plant the seed of faith in our hearts and nurture it with daily prayer, worship, and righteous living, it blossoms. It grows into a firm and vibrant testimony of our unwavering commitment to God, bearing the fruits of the Holy Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The Bible presents us with many who chose to prioritize God, even when circumstances seemed unfavorable, even when they could not see the end of the road. One such towering figure of faith is Abraham. God promised Abraham that he would be the father of many nations. But as years turned into decades and his wife, Sarah, remained barren, this promise seemed impossible. Yet Abraham chose God. He chose to believe in his promise. And in due time, God honored Abraham's unwavering faith. Sarah bore a son Isaac in their old age, and through Isaac, Abraham indeed became the father of many nations. Then we have the story of Moses, a man adopted into Pharaoh's household, enjoying all the privileges of Egyptian royalty. Yet, when God called him to lead the Israelites out of slavery, Moses chose God first. Despite the daunting task, despite the doubts and fears, Moses trusted God, and as he followed God's guidance, he led them out of bondage and towards the promised land. Both Abraham and Moses serve as powerful examples of individuals who put God first. Their lives echo the wisdom of Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Now you may ask, what does it mean to put God first in our lives? Firstly, to put God first means to seek his will above ours. It involves turning to him in prayer, reading the Bible and meditating on his word, and living according to his teachings. It means making decisions that honor God, even when they seem challenging or unpopular. Secondly, putting God first means entrusting him with our lives, even when things don't go as planned. It's remembering that God's plans for us are for our good, even when we can't see it. Thirdly, to put God first means to love and serve others selflessly. In the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus tells us that whatever we do for the least of his brothers and sisters, we do for him. This call to serve others is a call to put God first in our lives. As we journey through life, let's make the conscious decision to put God first. Let's choose to trust in his promises. For when we choose God first, we choose a journey of love, peace, 
righteousness, and joy. We choose a path that leads to divine blessings beyond our understanding. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 offers us a reassuring promise. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. As we stand at the crossroads of life, may we have the courage and faith to choose God first to trust in His divine power. As we do so, let us remember the promise of our Savior. When we seek His kingdom and His righteousness first, all other things, all the blessings, will be added unto us. I know that choosing God first is not always easy, but it is always rewarding. It's a journey of faith, a journey of trust, a journey that leads us closer to Him and His countless blessings. So today, let's make that decision. Let's choose God first. Let's trust in His promises and watch as His blessings follow. Praise God. May God bless you all. Now let us go to God in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me, either by repeating the words or by saying it in your mind, so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, our Savior and friend, I come before you today giving you thanks and praise. I am thankful for your unconditional love, a love that surrounds me every day, lifting me up during times of weakness and comforting me in moments of distress. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for loving me so much that nothing in my past, present, or future can separate me from your love. Lord, your word says that no matter what happens around me, your love will never leave me. Your peace will always be my portion, and you will always be with me. Mighty God, I ask that you will guide my decisions and turn my heart to deeply desire you above all else. I ask that you will open doors that need to be opened and close the ones that needs to be shut. Father God, I ask for your help to pursue you first, above every dream and above every desire. Lord, I ask for your wisdom. I ask for your strength and power to be constantly present within me. I pray that you would make me strong and courageous for the road ahead. Give me the ability to do beyond what I feel I am able to do. May your blessings flow freely through me, so that you will be glorified and others would be drawn to you. Everlasting Father, in moments of fear, sorrow, and confusion, remind me of your promises. You have declared in your word that you plan to prosper me and not to harm me, that you plan to give me hope and a future. Thank you, Lord, that you desire prosperity for me and not destruction. In times of uncertainty... Help me to remember this promise and place my faith in your divine plan. Abba, Father, thank you for your word that breathes life into me. Thank you, Lord, that anything that you bring to me will be for my good. Thank you that, even in adversity, you can strengthen me and build my character so that I can walk into my purpose with readiness. Mighty God, I promise to look to you for direction in areas where I am uncertain. I seek to put you first. Each day, as I cross paths with different individuals, guide me to reflect your love in my actions. Help me to be a beacon of kindness, even when faced with hostility. Help me to forgive, even when forgiveness is difficult. Lord, help me to show my love for you and others, in the way I treat them. I surrender all to you, Lord. My moments of joy, my times of sorrow, my victories, my failures... I choose to place you first in every aspect of my life. I believe that in doing so, you will shower your blessings upon me. You will grace me with peace, love, and joy. You will lend me strength in weakness and light my death when I lose my way. In every step I take, Lord, guide me. Help me to make righteous decisions. I seek to choose you, not just today, but every single day, I am confident, that when I do this, when I put you first, your blessings will manifest in my life in ways beyond my understanding. Thank you, Lord, for your love, your guidance, and your blessings. I am comforted in the knowledge that you are always with me, watching over me. In the precious name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you in the name of Jesus. Now comment using the word Amen and claim this powerful prayer. 
I believe in the power of prayer, the blessing of this prayer. Please feel free to leave your prayer requests in the comments so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. To God be all the glory. May the Lord bless you abundantly and powerfully in the mighty name of Jesus. Подходите к господу родителям.